Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So we would take a look at the Stargazer Gundam, which is uh, a part of the ongoing event right now. So, you know, hopefully I didn't just spend all your coins uh, exclusively on getting every single part for the Stargazer. Because I'm going to be telling you some uh, some rough news in this video. But yeah, um, it comes from the Stargazer OVA, Stargazer series from Gundam Seed. I, I think it looks good. I have the high grade kit. It's an okay high grade kit. It's not really like astounding but this really isn't a combat oriented suit it's definitely more of a supportive suit which is very much reflective in both the stats and the pilot um, I just kind of gave it the bean javelin just to give it a weapon because uh, it, it doesn't come with any weapons it comes with itself and the one pilot and that's pretty much it but overall I think the suit doesn't look horrible the black lines obviously is kind of weird but it's all in like a deactivated mode and it will awaken, uh, awaken once we activate the backpack special ability. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the stats. So we'll take a look at the head unit. Uh, the stats are pretty defensive. Definitely more oriented to the uh, the defenses. A little bit of that beam resistance as well. But doesn't really have much emphasis on the shot attack. So that's pretty unique. But take a look at the traits part. With speed attribute self, shot guidance boosted 14%. Uh, now someone did kind of like explain shot guidance a little bit to me. And I really didn't look too further into it. Uh, but basically, it, it kind of helps, I guess, guide um, any kind of projectiles like bazookas and all that. So I guess when it shoots it, it doesn't deviate from the target. It kind of like makes sure it lands on the target. So definitely clear that up in the comment section below if you can for me, please. Now we'll take a look at the body unit. Ah, pretty weak overall. I mean, it's not going to have anything in shot attack, uh, but it's going to have some okay defenses not really that amazing uh but let's take a look at the trait so with speed attribute once again enemy strong melee power reduced 30 percent so definitely leaning more towards like defender support type because reducing that enemy's uh you know attacking uh stats are always going to be a pretty good thing to have on your team so i think it's pretty good but eh, it's still not like it's not fantastic now we're taking a look at the stargazer's arms and boy oh boy, these things right here are fantastic when it comes to those defenses. Amazing, amazing defenses. But every other stat is completely horrible. Um, so beam range weapon, reload speed boosted 15%. That is a... I mean, this is this will be a good ability on something that has a lot of emphasis on shot attack. This doesn't. This is no emphasis on shot attack. So that's why I'm like... It's not really that good uh, because of the fact that this mobile suit is not shot like it's not long distance mid range oriented. So I don't know. I think it's I think it's a pretty bad trait. Now we're taking a look at the legs. Legs has some really good defenses. Um, then we'll take a look at the trait. Uh, so with speed attribute self, ex skill damage taken reduced by 25. I'm sorry, but reducing reducing an ex skill damage by 25. Like, I'm probably going to be dealing well over 60, 60k plus damage in one hit. That 25 ain't doing anything for you, my bud. Uh, so, I personally do believe this is a horrible trait. It's not worth it. Now, finally, this is the best thing on this entire mobile suit. So, you have the Stargazer backpack. Now, the defenses are really good. Everything else is kind of meh. Not really, not really stand out. Uh, but yeah, the the stats are, are okay in, in terms of defenses. But take a look at the X skill. Uh, Voiture Luminaire? Luminaire? Lumiere? Lumiere? Um, the category is going to be Awakening, so you can't stack this with like the Shining Gundam uh, Super Mode. You can't stack it with a Hyper Mode or anything or Trans Am. You can only do it one time. Uh, so effect time is going to be 51 seconds. Cooldown 60 seconds. First time 12 seconds. Um, and then catch solar uh, wind using a ring-shaped quantum field, covering uh, covering it into propulsive force. Um, I think it's pretty good. We got raise shot attack 20%. Amazing. I'm sorry, not shot attack. Raise your speed by 20%. Raise your shot attack by 19%. And then raise your shot defense by 29%. So this is good if you're going to be a long shooter or even mid shooter. This is something I would probably put on my um, on my new Gundam, you know, honestly, because increasing that shot attack and that speed a little bit further uh, on my new Gundam will just drastically improve everything. And it already has like four EX skills, um, so I can definitely just replace one of the crappier EX skills with this one, and it'll be pretty good to go. And I can kind of work some stuff around to uh, give it an actual trait with um, a different item. So 
I, I like this. I think this is something that you definitely need to max out. I personally maxed out on it. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Now, this suit does not come with any other weaponry, but it is going to have a pilot. So, Salim and Griff, uh, her shot attack is, fan is fantastic. Really good shot attack. Uh, and the rest of the stats are actually pretty good for a pilot. Take a look at the trait with uh, speed attribute. Enemy EX skill penetration reduced 22%. That's actually not bad. This is really good for something if you're going to be uh, doing the 3v3 in arenas because it doesn't say on this mobile suit that the uh, the piercing is reduced. This is the enemy's EX skill penetration reduced 22%. And that's not just one enemy. That's all of enemies. All of enemies penetration and EX skills are going to be reduced. And you know in a, when 3v3 comes out, I, I'm pretty sure having one mobile suit that is like completely support that is like passively uh, debuffing all the enemies and also has EX skills that debuff the enemies and you're just like you have your infight, you have your long shooter, that's going to make the world a difference. So in case one of them does have an EX skill that is just like crazy powerful in the, in the piercing section, reducing it by nearly a quarter, you're, you're, you're going to be able to survive it and then you can start landing your own attacks. So I think she is definitely uh, worth probably picking up more of. Now also with the word tag, you are going to have 4 space, which increases all parameters by 1%. And if you're in space, it increases everything by 3%. And then you're going to have the pro tag, which is pretty damn good. And let me show you what it is. It's going to raise your melee attack 10% while active. So, fantastic word tag. What the hell is it doing on the Stargazer? You should, you should have had Ace. Ace would have increased your uh, shot attack by 10%. I think that would have been way better. But hey, it kind of is what it is, I guess. Um, then you're also going to have a uh, support type, which is really damn good. And uh, that was one thing I wanted. Well, let me show you what word type does. Now, for support type, you are going to have uh, raised physical resistance by 10% while active. Really good because a lot of things are physical. You got ballistics. You are going to have uh, maybe like the maze. So you got the Barbados sword. So you got different weaponry that is going to be physical as well as EX skills. But beam is obviously going to be your crutch uh, or your, your, your kryptonite. Uh, so kind of sucks but that is still a really good ex skill to have and one thing to note oops i went to different pages so one thing to note is that this is one suit if you correctly put the uh the weapon in the um the, the two different weapons the beam rifle and or the long distance uh weapon as well as the close range weapon you can activate three word tags but i would say four space is okay i really wouldn't pursue it Support type is going to be your best thing, and Pro Tag, I think it's worthless on this mobile suit, but it is pretty good to have if you just drastically want to have a really good um, melee attack. Now, where can you get these? Uh, you can actually get all these parts in the shop right now, so you go into the exchange. You can get them. Now, this, if this is after the uh, event has closed, sorry, you're going to have to wait for it, it to come around the corner again, but let's go ahead and uh, check out this mobile suit in action. All right, so... We only really have one EX skill on this mobile suit, so that's the only thing I'm really going to be displaying. Um, There's not really much else I can do. So I will still use a couple of my uh, EX skills. Alright, Crimson Stinger. Alright, and we can awaken. So everything just like lights up. I mean, it looks good. I'm loving Look at all the stat boosts. I mean, you got your shot, you got your defense, and you got your speed. Looks really good, man. Um, I think that's probably one of the better looking um, kind of awakenings in the game right now. Trans Am looks really good, uh, like the after image and all that. But I just think this looks pretty sharp. And I think the duration on level 1 is not too long. I think it's like 30 some seconds. And then we go back into normal form. And that was it. So that's really the only EX skill I can definitely display for you guys. But overall, it, I mean, looks really good. So I decided to go ahead and customize it a little bit. Um, honestly, it was pretty tough because I wanted to keep supporter type. Um, now, you can obviously make it, like, you can make it a shooter if you really want. You can also make it a support type. You can even kind of get away with making a melee-oriented suit because of the pro tag, uh, word tags that it actually has. But I kept it kind of a good mixture between a, uh, a pretty decent shot attack as well as a supporter type. So let me show you what I mean. The only things I did change was Gundam H Titus's legs um, and I gave it the, uh, the Hyper Mega Launcher. So I really only changed two things. These two things are not really significant but this is what 
the legs do. So uh, Archer, uh, Hack, Beta. So reduce Shadow Attack of all enemies by 20%. That kind of falls into the overall uh, supporter type. And uh, then we look over to the Hyper Mega Launcher. So really good stats overall. I mean, fantastic Shadow Attack. Uh, gave it, you know, something. And with Speed Attribute, which it is, enemy shooting power reduced 30%. So not only am I... I'm still reducing the uh, the enemy's powers by all means necessary. Um, it's still it's still going to be a supporter type, so that means like cooldowns for the entire team once activated, it, you know, is, is going to go all around. Like everyone's going to get their cooldowns uh, reduced, um, or I guess like sped up, and it, it still is going to be able to deliver some really good shot attack overall. But yeah, this is kind of what I came up with, and the one the one keynote here. There's like no good supporter type, uh, no mobile suits with the support uh, supporter type word tag that are like in the three star and above. They're all like two stars and one stars. So going around trying to find something to replace the stargazer, um, but still keeping that you know that that supporter type word tag, it's pretty much impossible. So what's my overall thoughts on the stargazer? Well, it is a pretty good dedicated support unit that I will give it but it also has some pretty good usage with um, you know the the ability from the backpack so having that activated you're increasing your shot attack increasing your shot defense and increasing your speed uh, by a pretty good amount you can also like throw in the uh, tall geese head and kind of like really focus on the uh, the shot attack and then kind of just you know do a bunch of stuff uh, away so maybe get rid of the hyper mega launcher give it the uh the arc 78's beam rifle with the last shooting e ex skill you can definitely do that but this is what the route i chose and i would probably even change it up a, uh, even drastically uh if i decide this was going to be something that's going to come with me because a support unit i'm probably going to change out the stargazer gundam's head um, I don't think the shot guidance is good at all, so I'll probably get the blitz head. Then I'll be losing that 10% on the uh, the physical res uh, resistance. So unfortunate, but that's probably the route I would actually take. Uh, honestly, guys, like it's it's up to you what you want to pull. I would say the body is not bad if you want to increase it by a few levels. The backpack max it out, and for the female, I would say max her out as well. But that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Um, if you can, drop a like, subscribe, comment if you have not already, and let me know in the comment section below what mobile suit you would like to see uh, basically in the analysis videos upcoming. So that's it for me. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.